and you spot. I'm Christian today. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Come. Beep. Beep. Hello and welcome to another Abbott Automotive YouTube video where we are sitting at BMW in Nottingham with a car we have been dying to get our hands on. Ash, what are we doing today? You're right there, Mark. We've been dying to get our hands on the M3 or the M4, the new M3 M4 for about two months now. And Nick and the team at sitting there have come through with this beautiful, beautiful machine which is situated behind us. So a car we have been dying to get our hands on, BMW nut through and through, chop me in half, you'll see an M Sport logo. Nick, the brand new M4. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. A car that we've all been excited about getting in the showroom and uh, selling as well. Uh, obviously the first point everyone talks about is the grill. The grill. You know, the, the grill, the kidney grills at the front here, they are a talking point for the car. You know, like them or loathe them, they so are the, a talking point. There but has been a lot of hate with the grill hasn't they it, that's the only thing i see online is the grill the grill but when you see the car in person actually the grill looks really good i don't think it yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I again i totally agree with you i think it's something that in 2d you don't appreciate just you know sort of how beefy it makes the front of this car look yeah. just what stance and what presence it gives it on the road uh, you know and i'd urge all of those people that do slate it come and look at one properly what do you guys think? I mean, let us know in the comments. Do you love or hate the grill? Let us know. Let's have a look around the car. One thing when I was looking at the spec sheet that I was really uh, not confused about, but I think it's the first time BMW have done it on a car. 19 inch wheels on the front, 20 inch wheels on the back. What's that about? Correct, yeah, that's um, BMW making this car sort of more driver focused, if that's possible for a BMW. So it improves the handling of the car, gives that front end a little bit more point. Uh, it gives you a better ride as well when you're doing those longer journeys with the 19s on the front. So they've done it purely for the person that's in the driver's seat. So M4, it's got to be fast, it's got to be quick. What we got under the hood now then? Yeah, so I don't think anyone could have any complaints about what's under the hood. You've got your traditional BMW straight six. Uh, you know, they've kept it. They've kept it old school. They've kept it BMW. It's 510 brake horsepower now. And uh, 0 to 60 on this car is 3.9, so it's the first ever M4, M3 M4 that is a sub four second to 60 car. Wow. We're going to find out later, so obviously we're test driving the car. Much noise, because a lot of, I mean, a lot of things with the newer cars, and we get, we get a lot of this with, with the older cars, with the old E46s, the E92s, the FH2s, even the FH2s popping and banging. Are they quiet? Are they, is there a bit of, bit of, bit of drama to them? You've got, a, like? you've got a great noise, great theatre outside the car, like you would expect. Uh, one of the things that BMW have done as well though on this car, acoustic glazing is now standard. So inside, it is a little more quiet, a little more refined. So, yeah. you know, again, whilst they're trying to make this car more driver focused, they're also thinking of it being an everyday runner. So you get a bit of both, best of both worlds. There's been quite a few design changes, Nick. Tell us a little bit about what BMW have done with this, this model. Uh, so again, this car, back end wider than the front end. So like you've got the 20s on the back, the 19s on the front. Again, it's for that, that aerodynamic, that yeah. driving dynamic of the car. It's also a little more sculpted, I think, around the rear. It's say, less, less rounded. Yeah, it's less rounded here, it's more. Yeah, kind of you've got you can lines. Design. You've got the standout you know, diffuser rear lip spoiler, and again, the traditional, uh, fairly iconic quad exhaust system on there as well. It's kind of been standard throughout most of the Yeah, M -series. of course. Nice. And reverse camera, obviously, I like my tech. Reverse oh, camera, oh, standard, oh, and now built into the little BMW in the badge. badge. Yeah. That is clever. Yeah, as opposed to just having it sort of yeah. stuck down underneath. Yeah, um, that's, that's, that's neat. Yeah, you've got the reprofiled L-shaped LED rear lights as well. Beautiful, beautiful roof panel. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, carbon fibre roof, standard feature on the M3 and M4. You know, no, no longer the uh, the old BMW trope of cost extras here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Again, I just think it adds so much to the sporting spectacle of the car. It does. It gives it a real feel. And it adds You've to got the, the character of the car. The yeah, it gives it more character. So the first thing I notice when I get in this car is the digital cockpit dash. Beautiful. 
Um, like I said, I love my tech and the red paddles. But before we go into it, tell us a little bit about the standard stuff you get now. Yeah, so all the stuff you just pointed out there is standard on the new M4 and M3. Yeah, so it's BMW's live cockpit professional. So wow. your big 12.8 inch sat nav screen uh, with your built in Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio, radio systems, etc. You've got your full digital cockpit as well, uh, speedo, rev counter or your fuel guides. What you also get standard on these cars now is head-up display. It gives you your speed, speed limit on the road. If you've got your nav set, it'll show you the directional arrows. Oh. It'll bring all your phone details up on there. Uh, numbers call in, it'll bring the radio stations, music. So, so it's not off. your standard just speed heads up display, it does everything. No, it'll do it'll put the things that you put on your digital dashboard okay. onto the screen for you. Again, a lot safer. You're driving along, you're looking straight ahead. You know, you don't have to keep your eyes off the road. And I was I love the finish, I love the fact that they've got the M4 badge here. The, the, the carbon finish. Yeah, so the carbon the fibre trim is yeah. the, the only thing you pointed out so far that is an optional extra on okay. these cars. Um, but yeah. I would pick that, wouldn't I? Yeah. A, a beautiful, beautiful interior trim, and I'm yeah. sure it'll be very, very popular amongst our customers. One thing that I was talking to Mark about recently, because he's a BMW nut. I mean, I've, I've loved BMWs and I've, I've recently switched to <clears throat> something else. But, and the reason I did is because the internals of BMWs were a bit dated. They didn't really evolve the design. Having sat in this, they have. Totally different car from the last totally one. Totally reinvented. It? Yeah, it, it looks modern, it looks clean. It actually looks sophisticated, a bit like what Mercedes, they've, they've kind of up the game BMW again. Yeah. They've, 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 they've moved ahead, 100%, which, which I like. 100%, you know, that's been, that's been the feedback that we've had since this new, these new systems came in. Um, you know, the BMW have now got back to the level that everyone expects of us. Uh, and you know yeah. we're we're really proud of the product that we sell. Well, you know what's got left to do now? Take this bad boy on the road, Mark. What do you think? Yeah, let's go and give it a spin. Sensible spin. Sensible spin. Sensible spin, Nick. Not sat in one. Not not even looked at any photos on purpose, actually. Whoa, you sit in anyway. <laughs> Especially when you're a short ass like me. Wow. I'll tell you what it feels like. Straight away was the last edition M5. Everything seems quite bulky compared to what it used to be. The steering wheel's different, I love it, it's got all the M stitching on the steering wheel. Carbon fibre everywhere. Seats, the seats, I'm hoping, Hug. yeah they do, they've got bolster adjust. Now, if you're like me, I love the bolsters to literally squash your, squash what, your back what, in. What do they do? It's, yeah, it's a really nice space to be. Really Beautiful, nice space it? to be. Obviously, the most important buttons on the steering wheel are still there. Now you have two of them. You've got the M1 and M2 button. Obviously, we'll have a play with these later, but these are all customizable, like on the older cars. So you press the M button and it puts it into exciting mode. But yeah, wow. They've definitely, they've definitely upped their game. Do you just feel like there is no air left to breathe? Outside the grid, it's all for sure. I didn't know. I wonder what it meant to be. If I let go and let it flow, I think there's more to see. I just need a break. I'll take what you need. I just need to break. Oh, we're trying to have a play with the uh, settings in the car. Yeah, so I just want to know that <laughs> you've got two M buttons which are configurable to the car. Obviously, they've done that for years, but I like to know before we drive what, what do. which M button is, is doing what. We want to be on Sports Plus. Uh, chassis on Sports Plus. Steering on Sport. Brake on Sport. We want DSC on. <coughs> Actually, we want MDM mode. So. MDM mode, they've had this for years, so it will let you have a little bit of play. I mean, I've not been into any of this stuff. M Drift Analyzer. What is that? Look, it tells you your best drift. So I'm guessing if, you, if you've got an open space, you want to do some drifting. It tells you the angle you're going at, the yards, your best drift. So it's, so BMW, let me, just, let me just say this. Are you encouraging us M owners to drift the cars because if you are that 
that basically says go out and drift and shows your best yeah. drift. say that the reason they've done it and it is it literally points the nose what's your first thoughts it's beautiful it's nice, very isn't comfy it? in it
a couple of sentences, sum up the car, what I'm saying. It's a modern classic. I like it's, that. It's got the performance, it's got the looks, it's got the style, it's got that classic je ne sais quoi. The interior is like so just cool. something else. I mean, yeah, honestly, I can't. I've hated BMW interiors with the orange dials and it just dated. I hated it. They've really excelled. I would have one of these in a heartbeat. For me, as an M fanatic, I love it. I think it's a great car. Um, have they gone too far with the styling? When I first saw it, yes, I thought they had, but seeing the car in, in person, I think it looks fantastic. Um, does it need bigger wheels? That's my only negative. In my opinion, I would have gone 20 or 21s all around, but I can see why they've done it for a reason. I'm really impressed. I really like it. I've got to be honest, and I will be really honest to camera, when I first saw the pictures of these and released them and I saw the price tag, I was like, wow, BMW, what have you done? It didn't, I didn't like the look of it, but when you have to see it in the flesh, drive it, I, I think words escape me to be honest. It is, I, like, I said, like I said on the GoPro, it's, it's going to be the new modern classic. It's got the power, it's got the the the, ooh, the engine, the, the comfort of the ride is beautiful. The steering it handles amazingly. Yeah. I mean, it's a high price tag, but you're getting a quality car. I mean, the interior, the MW, I mean, they've, they've, done they've, it. they've excelled. Done it. They've excelled. Um, like we've said all along in this video, it is a car that you have to appreciate in person. Yeah. It is a car that will grow in you because they've had to change the style, they've had to change with the times. Uh, we wanted to say a massive, massive shout out to Sitna BMW in Nottingham and to Nick for lending us the car. 100%. Um, well, thank you guys. It's been very difficult to get hold of these cars <laughs> as you can as you can expect because it's brand new. The press have had them. so. Hopefully you've uh, took a lot away from the video and please don't forget to give us a subscribe, give us a like, it doesn't take much time, just hit that button, it would help us out massively. We take a lot of time out of our diaries to do Here this we and we'd love your support.